older niggas got more than the little niggas that's my age, which I'm 15. What the fuck can this 15, 16 year old boy do for me? Nothing. Bitch, I need school clothes, I need money, I need my hair done, I need this, I need that. So what you gonna resort to, what you know? And they was doing shit for me, and yeah. And doing shit to her. They weren't just giving me the money just because I want to give it her. to you, but... They was molesting her. I was giving it up willingly, but they since I was underage, so that's molestation. that's that's molestation. I'm not going to say it because I wanted to do it, but I knew... You that did it out of necessity. Yeah, I did it because that's what I felt like I needed to do, because who the fuck else was doing it? What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, man. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, but more importantly, you saw the clip. Google a book first so you can find it on Amazon. It's a dope read. This girl a prostitute. I know you. I know they're trying to say all this other stuff. You know, I mean, was she dealing with old men, older guys who were, who could have been who were scumbags and paying for it? Yeah, but she was a prostitute. She was a fifteen year old prostitute, a young scumbag. And, and I'm not just gonna let this stuff slide where y'all just say, you know, I was dealing with older people because sometimes these older people she talking about could have been seventeen. All right, I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you, but I, I've talked about this before where I say th th there's a segment of young women out here or young girls who want to be women who out here doing the most, but then they turn around 25, 30. I, I was, I was so abused. I was such, I was taking a bad job. And she already, look, I've been grown for 20 some years and hood rats still sound the same. I just got to do, I got to deal. Ain't no 15 year old that boy gonna do nothing for me. I need money for my clothes and my house. It's, 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 it's still the same. It's still the same. And then she said, you're gonna resort to doing what you, what you know to do. So run that back. That means she been a hoe before she was 15. She been selling her, her body for a minute. So I don't even want to hear this stuff, you know, about y'all trying to, you know, these men, these men are this and that. And the third, yep, 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 yep. But she, is, she's a teenage prostitute. She ain't, she ain't got a, she her own pimp. You know, I got my own money. I make my own. That's my own job. I've been working since I was twelve. Doing what? <laughs> and and doing this for what again? She needs money. She needs clothes. She needs to get her hair done. Okay, so you out there just getting slutted out for stuff your parents should provide, which means your parents ain't provide, which means nine times out of 10, people gonna say, well, who you live with, your mama? It gotta be your mama, cause your mama got you, is cool with you out here prostituting yourself. Cause it wouldn't be your daddy. And it's like, oh, oh, can we blame the single mother for this? Yeah, we can, but I'm not really finna go there completely. Cause this girl's a prostitute. I'm mad at her little, her, her, I don't know who the other woman is in, in the video. I'm mad at her for acting like mm, she was this, she was that. Listen to the little girl tell you she was doing this cause she wanted to. I, I mean, at some point you gotta say, hey man, you do, you, you, you out here, you out here. Because guess what? If she doing this when she 15 and she was doing this before she was 15, what, what's the likelihood she going to be doing this at 18? Very likely. And guess what else? Then all of a sudden she could say, you could say, oh, she was molested by these guys when she was, you know, 12 to 17. But when she 18 to 25 doing the same thing. Well, it was because he was, she was this and that. No, 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 no. She been, she been, mm -mm. Mm -mm. She's been selling herself for a long time. And I saw BGS talk about this. I know he got it from somewhere else. I think it was Pimp God. Uh, but, you know, th th this prostituting yourself, you know, a lot of you grown women do this for the same reason. Because you want some money and you want to get some clothes and you want to get your hair done. So now you, you, you know what I'm saying? You taking a money shot in the back of a Chevy now, cause hey, whatever, you know, I gotta get mine. That's what Instagram is about. That, that that's what it is. And, and and the reason why I bring this up is because guess what? What are these young ladies watching? 
Instagram. You know, social media, looking at women who are grown women who are prostituting themselves out and like, well, shoot, let me hurry up and get out of here. Let me let me hurry up and get out to these streets so I can get these ballers to pay for my for me. You know, and it's like, okay, all right. But then we turn around and say something like, you know, these men are toxic. If you out here selling yourself and you making a decision to sell yourself. That's, that's, that, that, that's who you are. That's what you are. You, you're toxic to yourself. Because, I mean, contrary to popular belief, most people who are in the hood, most people who are struggling, do, 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 do not resort to crime. They don't. That's, that's the reality of it. They don't resort to selling drugs. They don't resort to selling their bodies. That's the reality. The people who, who do that, they make their decision. That the things they want are more important than their than their dignity. They'll sell their soul for some stuff, and sell more, sell some stuff for some stuff, whatever. But we got to stop. You know, we we got to put the responsibility on the people who are participating. That means the people who are paying her and her, the person getting paid. We we can't act like oh she was just being taken advantage of. No, she wasn't. She, she told you what, what she wanted, her motivations, and what she was willing to do to get that stuff. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it. You know, it's the same thing when, when I hear young young cats, you know, they want they want to get involved in gang life and crime life. And like, hey, that's a kid. Hey, the kid gets shot. He's going to get shot like a grown man. You want you want to be in the streets like that? Then you want to jump off the porch? Everything that go with it, you got. You, that's what you got to deal with. Because what we're talking about is a scumbag society, anyways. We're not talking about stand up people at this point. So, so once you chose to go down the path of, of, of criminality and 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 you know low character and low morals, I don't know why y'all trying to turn around and go. Well, these people should have better morals than that. Nope, nope, nope. You don't even have better. You don't have better morals than that. You and you're not around people with those kind of morals. Y'all in it together. You're in this love together. You know. So now, and this needs to be stated. When young ladies like herself wind up getting pregnant. Or they wind up, you know, going further down the rabbit hole of of sex work. Or, or some of these girls, you know, they, they graduate high school and they go to college and they kind of, you know, they, they're, they're getting an education but, sl- but low-key being sex workers on the side but not necessarily strippers. You know, when, when y'all out here dating guys and, you know, everything is determined on the amount of money he got. So if, if you think he got money... Hey, you, you, hey, you know, champagne blowjobs for this guy. And if he don't, I don't know you. And it's like, yo, this is why I said years ago, you know, dating has become prostitution. Because y'all could say it's an issue, like I said earlier, because she, because she said she's doing this at 15, which I'm like, she's probably doing it at 14, 13, and 12 too. Just my opinion. What, you know, pick an age, but it was before 15. But when she does this over 18, it's she got to get the bag. She got to get her money. It's like same thing. You know, and, and, and the problem is when these young ladies turn 18 and they do this stuff, y'all want to act like it just came out of nowhere. Like she turned, you know, 18 and all of a sudden her whole meter just started. No, it was happening beforehand. And y'all taught this and y'all cultivated this and y'all made this okay. What I'm, ultimately, what I'm saying is a lot of you women groom groom these girls to be prostitutes. And so, but y'all blame everybody else. And and they and and she's at least young enough to say, or dumb enough to say, no, nah, this is what I'm doing. She's the type that can't that you can't blame nobody else. So stop trying to make everybody else an excuse. But that's just my opinion. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had.